ट्रिक टू फाइंड द टाइप ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन ऑफ सेंट्रल एटम इन ए मोलिकुल और आयर दिस ट्रिक इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल फॉर कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड्स लेट अस टेक अमोनिया मोलिकुल इन अमोनिया एन इज द सेंट्रल एटम एन हैज सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू कमा फाइव देर आर फाइव बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दो फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैन बी सोन ओवर इयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव थ्री हाइड्रोन एटम्स फॉर थ्री सिग्मा बॉन्ड्स विथ दिस नाइट्रोन एटम and these two electrons remain as a lone pair to find the type of hybridization of nitrogen in ammonia we have to follow this trick number of lone pairs on nitrogen or you can say central atom is l number of sigma bonds formed by central atom is sigma number of dative bonds Formed by central atom is D. So L plus sigma plus D. L means number of lone pairs. Sigma means number of sigma bonds. D means number of dative bonds. These three are for the central atom. If L plus sigma plus D is equal to two, then the type of hybridization is sp. You see, L plus sigma plus D is equal to two. For hybridization, sp and d take part. Out of these two hybrid orbitals, S can take one. Two minus one is equal to one. So P is P takes one. One plus one two two. So no other hybrid orbital is there. So D takes zero. S one P one means S P. So if L plus sigma plus D is equal to the type of hybridization is S P. Let us apply this trick to ammonia. N has one lone pair. Number of sigma bonds three. Number of dative bonds on N zero. N has one lone pair one. Number of sigma bonds three, and number of lone pairs. Sorry, number of dative bonds is equal to zero. So one plus three plus zero is equal to four. Out of this four, S will take one. Four minus one three. Three is taken by P because P can form three hybrid orbitals. One plus three is four. Four minus four zero. So D has no hybrid orbital. So the type of hybridization is P three. So N in ammonia is sp three hybridized. Let us apply this trick to water molecule. In case of water, the central atom is oxygen. And it has eight electrons. Two comma six means it has six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two hydrogen atoms form two bonds with oxygen. There are two sigma bonds. The remaining four electrons remain as two lone pairs. So for water, L means number of lone pairs on oxygen is two. Number of sigma bonds formed by oxygen. Is also two two sigma bonds, one two. Number of dative bonds formed by oxygen by central atom is zero. So two plus two plus zero is equal to four. Out of these four, S can take one because S has only one hybrid orbital, but S can form only one hybrid orbital. Four minus one three P can take. Three hybrid orbitals, one plus three four, four minus four zero. So D has no hybrid orbital. So for this water, oxygen is sp three hybridized. For PCl five, P has five valence electrons. Atomic number of P is fifteen, two eight five. Five electrons, one, two, three, four, five. It can form five bonds with five chlorine atoms. Number of lone pairs on central phosphorus atom is zero. Number of sigma bonds formed by P five. Number of dative bonds formed by P zero. So total zero plus five plus zero five. Five will be distributed between S P D among S P D. S can take one, P can take three. One plus three four. Five minus four is equal to one, so D takes one. So the type of hybridization of of P in PCl5 is sp3D. 
if l plus sigma plus d is equal to 7 then the type of hybridization can be found s1 p3 d3 out of 7 s will take 1 p can take maximum 3 1 plus 3 4 1 plus 3 4 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 so d can take 3 so the type of hybridization is sp3 d3 then in c2 s2 there are two central carbon atoms and two hydrogen atoms c c h h s c is bonded by sigma and c c is bonded by triple bond and this c is bonded to this s by a sigma bond so this is a sigma bond sigma sigma and there are two pi bonds pi bonds are not due to hybridization pi bonds are not due to hybridization pi bonds are due to sideways overlapping of p orbitals pure p orbitals so for the first carbon c number of sigma bonds 2 sigma is equal to it has no lone pair 0 and no dative bond 0 for this carbon lone pair is 0 number of sigma bonds 2 and number of dative bonds 0 so total 2 so 2 is distributed between s 2 is distributed among spd s can take 1 p can take 1 1 plus 1 2 so d has no hybrid orbital so the type of hybridization for this carbon first carbon is sp similarly for second carbon it is also sp let us take buta 1 3 diene buta 1 3 diene 1 2 3 4 double bond single bond double bond in expanded form it can be written as shown CS2 means H C H double bond C single bond H single bond C H H double bond C H2 sigma sigma double bond means sigma pi sigma 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 double bond means sigma pi sigma sigma for number one carbon atom for number one carbon atom l plus sigma plus d is equal to 3 because it has no lone pair carbon has four electrons 1 2 3 4 four electrons take part in bonding so number of lone pairs is equal to 0 number of sigma bonds 1 2 3 3 and it cannot form any dative bond so 0 d is 0 0 plus 3 0 3 3 is distributed among spd s can take 1 p can take 2 d 0 because 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 p can take maximum 3 so d has no hybrid orbital so the type of hybridization is sp2 so the first carbon is sp2 type hybridized similarly for second carbon l plus sigma plus d is equal to 0 plus 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 sp2 type and for the for your information pi bonds are not included in hybridization pi bond is not included in this trick thank you